Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jumpin' Jojo. And today, we're gonna be making pink fluffy slime with Model Magic. And for today's ingredients, you need white Elmo's score glue, or you can use clear glue. And then, you will need shaving cream, any kind of shaving cream, or you don't have to use shaving cream at all. But I would prefer to use shaving cream. Next is Staflo. This is my solution to make slime, like put it together. So you can use any kind of solution, but I would prefer Staflo because I know it would work. And then you would put food dye, in my opinion, before or after you activate it. I do it before you activate it because after, like it can get messy or you can get on the table. And then, so for today, well, I'm gonna be using the pink neon food dye. And then Model Magic, which is clay, it's, um, air, it can air dry, which means like you don't wanna, you can put it in a Ziploc after you're done with it and it says here, perfect for slime, you can get it at Michael's, wherever. I got it, this at Michael's and it's from Crayola and it technically you can get different sorts of colors there's um on the back there says there's 22 colors and i was looking for pink but they didn't have pink so i just used white model magic and what it does is it um gives it a cool texture and like it gives like it stretches more in my opinion and like it's smooth, it's not, it's not you stretch it and then some slimes rip, it's not like that. It makes it stretchy, smooth, whatever. So like, these are what you need for pink, fluffy, model magic slime. And of course you need a bowl and a spoon. And then let's get right onto the video. Today I'm gonna be doing fluffy slime with model magic. So. Mom Magic is right here and right here, perfect for slime. So I'm going to start off with Elmo's school glue. Oh, this is so hard. That should be good. Okay, and Step, 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 step. Okay, that's good. Next, you want to do some shaving cream. Okay, then you can add as much as you can. Oh, strong smell. And then you would get a spoon, and then you would start mixing. Ugh, strong smell. Okay, once it's all done, you want to get any kind of food coloring. I'm gonna be using neon. And I'm gonna be using some pink food dye or food coloring. So I'm gonna go for like a bubblegum pink. So I'm gonna add like five drops of pink neon food dye and then you want to mix it and then you can add all sorts of colors or like how much you want to do so you can like pick green food dye and you can do like 500 drops and i don't even know if it has 500 drops but um, you can do a, any sort of color and 
any, like, how much drops you want to do, or like, any kind. I'm going to add a little more. I'll put it right there. Because once you put the model magic in, it'll make it like a lighter color. So like if you do like a dark blue, you, it will turn out to be like a light blue. So I'm gonna make it like a kind of like dark pink. What you would do next is get solution. And then I use staff flow. And then you can, once it's like s slime, you can use the model magic. For today's video, I'm, gonna, I'm doing um, white model magic, but there's like different colors of clay. There's like pink, purple, blue, black, white, all sorts of colors. I chose white because it'll look cool and that's the only color we could find. So next, you see it's all like mixed up. You want to do some, I use Staphylo liquid starch, all different kinds. I don't know what you can use, but you can use all different kinds. And then you can use as much as you need for the slime until it gets all saluted and stuck together. Oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> oh. And then you can also use um, solution for like, if it's too sticky, you can use it for like, if it's like, if something's too sticky, you can use that too. Or if it's like melting, like really badly, you can use that. Um, I'm going in for seconds. So for, for solution, you use as much as you can for to like, you technically eyeball it. That's my clue, you eyeball it. Because you, in my opinion, I don't, I wouldn't use like measurements. I'm not, don't like do precise ones. Like you don't want to do like a tablespoon of glue and then like tablespoon of like solution. You don't have to be, you don't have to use like measuring tools. You can just eyeball it to see when it's done. Mine is almost done. It's a monster. So mine is getting to the point where it's done, but it's really sticky. It's like bubble gum. Ugh. So, I'm in for thoughts. I don't know, that's my, that might be too much, but, oh. So, what you would do next after the slime, you would put model magic or like any type of clay. I use model ma magic because I saw other people using that and I used it last time and it worked. But after you, if you don't use all of the magic model, you can always like put it in a Ziploc so it doesn't dry out. Yeah, that's way too sticky. I'm gonna mix it up some more, and then I'm gonna do it with my hands because your hands are gonna get messy either way. Okay, so it's looking sorta good. 
Oh my god. Yeah, it's still really sticky. Like I told you, I was going for that like bubble gum, like color. And now it's actually turning out like bubble gum. So what you would do in this situation, you would hopefully use a tiny bit more um, Staffler or whatever you use for your solu saluting or solution. So right now I'm using some more solution so it won't be that sticky and so it can stop s sticking to my hands. Okay, looks about done to me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put this on the table, so I, this is what I'm talking about. Other, like, parts of your slimes are going to be sticky, but most of it, it isn't going to be sticky. Or it might be the other way around, other parts might not be sticky, and one, some parts might be sticky. Okay. So I'm gonna drag it off the spoon like I was doing earlier just now. So I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right there. I'm technically gonna play with it so I get used to it. Yeah, the solution hasn't kicked in yet because it's still slimy. There we go. Okay, now it's time to grab it. It's not walking with me. There we go. So as you can see already, it's kind of already really, really, really fluffy because I added a ton of shaving cream. But soon that will deflate, but the model magic won't deflate hopefully i've tried it once it um it kind of worked i'm kind of playing with it so it wouldn't stick yeah see it's a tiny bit sticky so i'm gonna put it back in the bowl and add some more so, um, staff load to it. Okay, I'm gonna add some more staff load to it. Just a tiny bit because I don't want it to be like too overactivated or something, whatever it's called, overactivated. Because you don't want it to be like, you don't want it to be melted. That's what I'm trying to say. You don't want it to be melted. And see, right now, I'm having problems because it's really sticky, but the activator hasn't mixed in with all the sticky parts yet. I'm sorry, this process is taking a long time. Usually, slime cooperates with me, but it's not. Okay. I think that's done. Put the spoon back in the bowl. So right now I have like a bubble gum, pinkish slime. I'm gonna spread it out. And as I showed you earlier in the video, the model magic, um, I'm gonna be using that from, I bought it from Michaels and it's, says it's perfect for slime, but I'm gonna test it out. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna start with a little bit because I don't want it to be that much. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I got white because I was hoping they would have pink, 
but they didn't, so I got white instead because I thought that would be still cool because what am I talking about? It's clay. Everything is cool with clay. So I'm gonna mix that in, and then after a while, it should be more fluffy or like big because it's clay and it takes a really long time and it gives it like a soft, like, it, it gives you like a soft texture, that's what I'm trying to say. See like right here? It hasn't kicked in yet, but it gives you like a soft texture. So it kind of looks like ice cream that you can touch and it's not cold because you get like that soft feeling. Like if ice cream was a food that didn't melt, it would feel like this. Like no joke. Yeah, see other parts haven't like spread. That would you call it spread or like got into other areas because I put it all in one area and that's not how. I'm either gonna call this bubble gum or strawberry swirl. Yeah, so this is like, it feels like you put a lot of shaving cream just in this part. So I'm gonna make a tiny little swirl. That was a bad swirl. Okay, and that's what it does to the whole slime. Oh, there's a big clump right here. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, there's a big clump. So, what you would do after the Model Magic Clay to see if it's like, after it mixed in, to see if it was, it is like as soft as you want it to be. And if it is, then congratulations, you did it right. If it isn't as soft as you want it to be, you can add a little bit more to it. I'm gonna add a little bit more, not a ton because I wanna save it for like other slimes in the future. So yeah, this is my bubble gum or strawberry swirl slime that I made. I really wanna do like the metallic slime and like the fishbowl slime. I tried it early on and it didn't really work out because we couldn't find any, but we used like actual fishbowl beads. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it turned out. I really like it. It's super big. I'm just gonna play with this for a while because it's super satisfying. Okay. This is my favorite one.
One more. One more swarm. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna do one more. Okay. It's a burrito! Hey guys, so this is how my pink fluffy model magic slime turned out. I really love the color and how it feels. So yeah, I'm gonna show you a few tricks. This one's really cool because it feels like Laffy Taffy in your hands when you add model magic. But it always comes off very easily. And so as I said earlier on the video, it stretches really well. Um, you can do cool tricks. You can do a swirl. It won't. It won't rip. In my opinion, here I'm gonna show you a bubble. It won't rip. At least I hope it doesn't. Yeah. So this is how I do bubbles. There's also another way to do bubbles. Here, I'll show you the other way. So you can do really cool tricks. It has a nice texture to it. It doesn't rip. Oh, well, that was, those were three bubbles. But anywho, this is how my pink fluffy slime turned out. I'm gonna do one more swirl for you guys to see how stretchy it turned out because the Model Magic really helped it stretch out and for it to have a cool texture. I really like the texture because it feels like bubble gum. And it's like, it's really awesome how the texture feels out with the Model Magic clay because if you don't add ma Model Magic clay to it, then usually it will rip depending on how like, like how the slime turned out. So once again, make sure you like the video, 
share it with all your friends so they can like it too. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on the bell so you, you get notifications every time I make a new video. Bye!